My name is Keith Malik. I'm the CEO of Midco and Emberglow. Midco is the parent company of Emberglow, our food service company. It uh, was originated in 1941 here in Chicago. We make uh, rooftop makeup air units, burners that go in boilers, hot water heaters, paint booths, baking ovens, pizza ovens, incinerators, things like that. Uh, if you were in, in the United States in the 1950s, there were no such things as a gas char broiler. And the burner company was approached by the gas company here in Chicago and said, can't you come up with a way of char broiling that mimics cooking with charcoal? Because if you were in the 1950s and you went into a fine restaurant, how they cooked in those restaurants was actually on charcoal under a hood inside the building. That created some problems with having to create a fire every day. There was soot, there were ashes, some inconsistency in the way things got uh, heated up. And the burner company, Midco, came up with an alternative to that, uh, which is basically the gas char broiler that we sell today. The development of that, ga that gas char broiler got us into the uh, commercial kitchen equipment product line market and uh, wanting to expand that area as Emberglow had become a uh, well-known name in that industry, the company developed a steamer product, a uh, tabletop steamer product, and that began in the early 1960s. Uh, today we make uh, a number of different steamer products and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our ES5 model line of tabletop steamers. These uh, steamers are a uh, half-size food pan. They come uh, with a direct water hookup or a self-contained water pan. They run on 120 volts, a uh, normal outlet, uh, less than 15 amps. And if you get it with a water pan, they're completely portable, uh, can be used anywhere. Uh, the advantage of cooking with steam is you are adding moisture to whatever product that you are trying to re-thermalize or warm in these in comparison to a microwave oven. A microwave oven cooks by putting energy into the center of whatever the mass is inside of the microwave and creating heat in the center of what's ever in there. And by creating heat in the center of it, pushes the moisture out of the product and it tends to dry out uh, whatever you're trying to warm up. A steamer operates in a completely different fashion uh, we generate steam, which is roughly 220 degrees Fahrenheit uh, from water, and we have hot, moist, warm air uh, that is being applied to the outside of whatever you're trying to re-thermalize or cook, and in doing so, warms the product and adds moisture to it instead of drying it out. And when you cook with steam, you retain more of the nutrients, flavor, crispness of the food that's in there. Uh, without it getting cooked away either by a microwave or being boiled away. A favorite of mine is corn on the cob. Typically you take a corn on a cob and you put it in a pot of boiling water, you boil it for 10 minutes, and where do some of the nutrients end up? Where do some of the flavor end up? Where does some of the crispness end up? It all ends up in the water. But what do you do with the water? You throw it out. In our steamer product, you take an ear of corn, or two or three or six, you put them in there for about four minutes, and the hot, moist, 220 degree warm air hits the corn, doesn't boil out the nutrients, doesn't boil out the flavor, but warms it up. Uh, in doing so, you need less butter, less salt, and uh, you get a, a great vegetable, a great way to eat. Uh, we have customers uh, of ours that use the steamer for making oysters in the half shell. And as an example, instead of going back to the kitchen, uh, if it's at a bar area, They'll have one of our steamers under the counter and they'll put the oysters in the half shell. The bartender will push the button, it'll steam them, and they'll serve them to the patron uh, without having to go to the kitchen. Uh, easy way to go. Uh, we make uh, nachos and cheese uh, in these. Uh, obviously hot dogs is a, a, a big food item uh, that these get used a lot for. Um, lobster, crab, shrimp, and again, those can be uh, frozen or uh, not frozen. Cooking times vary a little bit. We have uh, customers that make poached eggs with these in the morning. Uh, the uh, Hispanic uh, restaurants uh, use a lot of tortilla shells and to warm them up or to warm the meat and cheese, uh, they use steam to 
soften the shell, warm it up, warm the meat, uh, melt the cheese, and then they put the cold condiments on, roll it up, and uh, this is a very quick process, uh, typically about 15 seconds. The early steamers uh, that were, we produced and others produced were what they called a closed generator. And this is a way of making steam where water is pushed out between a, uh, two plates through some small holes that have been, and the plates have been heated. And if you don't use uh, distilled water in them, the mineral deposits that get left after uh, the water turns to steam get left in the holes and block the generator. This is not desirable and requires uh, maintenance to take those apart. Uh, Amberglow studied this and came up with a way of using common tap water to create the steam. And how we do it today is we have an aluminum bowl with an electric element embedded into the bottom of it. It's uh, roughly 1500 watts and the thermostat controls the temperature of the aluminum to 360 degrees. We spray water on top of that generator uh, from a water nozzle, and when the water hits the aluminum that's at 360 degrees, it turns to 220 degree moist air, which then encompasses the food that's in the cooking pan. The water nozzle that we use today uh, looks something like this. It's a uh, Teflon tube with a series of holes where the water comes out of and is sprayed. We use Teflon so the mineral deposits don't uh, get built up on there. Uh, this is located in the bottom of our uh, open generator and uh, you can easily get to this by taking the food pan out and just pulling it out. We even provide a little tool in the bottom of it. Uh, if you do get a little bit of buildup uh, in the holes, uh, you can clean them out yourself. You don't need a service tech coming in to uh, repair the unit for you. And generally, you don't have to do that, but uh, you, you might in, in some cases. If you look at our competitors, this nozzle is buried inside the unit. You must take the unit apart with a screwdriver or wrench and a pliers. Uh, we also have a removable water pan on ours. So for the units that are completely por portable, where you have a water pan on the bottom, you can pull the water pan right out, put it in your dishwasher, and uh, not have to take the unit apart. If you look at our competitors' units, all of them, you need to take the unit apart to get to the water pan to clean it, which is not convenient for uh, most kitchen operations. There are uh, two ways of steaming with the Ember Glow steamer. Uh, we have uh, manual styles and push button styles where you pump the handle two, three times every 20, 30 seconds, uh, or you push a button in for two, three seconds. And what that does, is it pushes water out on top of that open generator, it creates the steam. Generally those are used for just warming foods or melting cheese. If uh, you're cooking something for a period of time, uh, you would probably want a timer type steamer and uh, we offer those as well. Uh, those units work by, uh, you turn a knob to set the time, and you push a button and uh, it'll automatically inject the proper amount of water for you every 20 seconds uh, at the end of the four minute cycle. A light will come on and a buzzer will go off uh, letting you know that the food is ready to go. Uh, one great thing about a steamer versus cooking in an oven or a microwave as an example, it's very difficult uh, to overcook something. Uh, if you put something in a steamer that should cook for three minutes and you happen to leave it in there for six minutes, you won't notice any difference uh, in the taste of the food or the moisture in the food. Conversely, if you uh, did this with a microwave or an oven and overcook something for twice whatever the cooking time was, you're probably going to end up with something that's very dried out and unappetizing to eat. All Ember Glow steamers are manufactured with a stainless steel construction right here in our factory in Chicago. They are supported by our engineering staffs, customer service, and sales groups, and all the units are manufactured in our factory here in Chicago. Mitko Ember Glow has been in business for more than 70 years now. It's a family-owned business, currently working on their fifth generation. And we are proud to say, working in here in Chicago, we were made in the United States of America.